Old Don Smithy here again, still stranded in the dark at the bottom of a mine shaft with my co-worker Tom McDonald and the inexplicable old film projector. And the radio. Don't forget the two-way radio. Say, why are we still down here? Shouldn't they have rescued us by now? I guess it wouldn't hurt to ask what's taking so long. Hello? This is Emergency Services. Please state the nature of your emergency. We're stuck in a collapsed mine. The last guy told us we'd be rescued soon, but we haven't heard anything since the food drop. Where is he? He probably quit. Most do. It's a stressful job. I'm so overwhelmed. So when can you rescue us? We're really busy with all the wildfires right now. Sounds like you're doing okay down there, so you'll just have to wait your turn. How long will that be? It depends when it rains. We're underground. Rain will probably flood and drown us. Perfect timing, then. Your priority will rise right when the resources are freed up. Is there anything else you want meanwhile, or can you clear the channel? Well, you could send us a better selection of films to watch. The ones we've got are pretty stale. How dare you abuse emergency services for a prank call? Hello? Hello? Damn. I guess we're stuck with this box. Pick something modern for once. This looks good. Pretty good zoom and fade effect for 1903. Must be a really bad bug problem there. Murder hornets. She has a script on her lap. The nice thing about silent movie scripts is you can read your lines just as well with a bag over your head. Apparently flirtation used to mean cautious assault. She's dressed so provocatively. Who could resist her beauty? She must be a beekeeper. That explains the outfit. Yep, your face will swell up like that after enough bee stings. The circus ringmaster came for her? Ah! Are you okay, Bogdan? My gelotophobia! What? Fear of laughter. I don't think I want to know why his leg is doing that. Was this supposed to be some sort of social commentary? I think you may be reading a little too much into it. Well, what shall we watch next? If you show me one more grainy black and white silent movie, I'm going to break the projector. This one has no label on it, but it looks pretty fresh, so let's see what's on it. Ashburnham, Westminster is the most pretentious town name I've ever seen. Wait, is this a film or a PowerPoint presentation? I'm just thankful for color and sound. You may not stay thankful for this sound. My cousin blew up a gas station once. Static electricity? Missile. Drone mission in Iraq. Uh. If your car is electric, touch the battery to recharge it. What about lingering vapors after fueling? Maybe I should give it an hour? Gosh, I've been so lucky. Gas stations should use an EMP pulse to take out all nearby phones for safety. Just sign my petition to make phones illegal before they get us all killed. You could drop the canister on your foot. Your child could drink it. Your phone could make it explode. Someone could wash their clothes in it. What? People used to set themselves on fire washing their clothes in gasoline back in the 30s. You know, I think I'll just get a bike. Make sure it's not an e-bike. Those batteries can catch fire. Yeah, maybe I'll just walk. Walking can generate static electricity. Then I'll lie perfectly still at the bottom of a collapsed mine shaft. Probably the same spot. Yes! The elevator music loop is gone at last. From the preview, it looks like this will be a cliché action movie full of mindless explosions. Pass. Are we running out of oxygen? I feel like I'm tripping here. Don't worry. Looks like it's just an ad for drugs. Drugs look so cool. 
I never wanted to try them before, but I've got to admit I'm interested now. It's kids playing with their phones. A motion picture. With a dramatic chips and twist. Uh, Guessing this so. isn't a Doritos commercial, then. Are you dead inside? Do you feel inexplainably miserable? Then you may need the so drugs from the last shirt. Exercise! And eat a salad! Yeah! Exercising while eating a salad can get messy. In several ways. Dragging people around against their will is the best form of exercise. Teleportation. It causes stomach aches. Are they aware that exercises other than jumping jacks have been invented? Looks like they're quite drunk now. Before the Doritos, they were doing shots of tequila. Finally, another form of movement. Now they've turned into zombies. Right back to jumping jacks. Oh. After this trading montage, they're sure to be invincible. You know, I don't feel like sitting on the couch anymore. Yeah. Or they'll just develop an allergic reaction to their leather couch. I feel great. Exercising makes you feel amazing. Citation. So, life is evil and confused. I guess it's a subliminal satanic message that you must do evil if you want to live. What exactly is being bought and sold here? Ah, I see now. He bought a phone offer. $100 t-shirt. Guy got ripped off. He should just hand over his shirt to pay for what he wants. Trying to push the bullet away with your hand doesn't seem like the best strategy to live. And the number of people shot to death by knives is zero. Actually, one. You forgot Chuckles the Magnificent, who died when his act of shooting knives at himself out of a cannon went tragically wrong. Oh yeah. I suppose the Bible could stop a bullet, if it's thick enough. Sadly, they used the same slogan for their birth control PSAs. It's over? Well, that was odd. Why did somebody put together a reel of random PSAs and leave it in a mine shaft? And how did PSAs clearly made in recent years end up in this archaic collection that doesn't look like it's been touched in 50 years? Maybe time-traveling aliens sent it through a wormhole. If we can locate the wormhole, maybe it can get us out of here. If it leads to a place where that reel is considered interesting, I think I'd rather stay here. Well, maybe we'll find another clue next time we watch something. Till then, good luck to all you surface people with your fires and pandemics and everything. Wish you could be down here safe with us. Bye.